Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will see how individual nucleotides polymerize to form a polynucleotide. So the learning objectives will be to describe how individual nucleotides bond to form a polynucleotide on a nucleic acid. Now polymerization of nucleotides. So nucleotides are the monomers for forming the biopolymers nucleic acids. So these the bond between the nu individual nucleotides is a ester bond. This we have to keep in mind to un further understand how a polynucleotide is formed. Now we know when an individual nucleotide was formed there was a bond between the 5 prime hydroxyl and a phosphate group. So that was an ester bond. Now when two nucleotides join together again the bond is an ester bond only. Now here the 3 prime hydroxyl group joins with the 5 prime phosphate of one nucleotide. Let us see how. So as you can see clearly in the diagram this is a first nucleotide and this is a second nucleotide. Now this incoming nucleotide it has a phosphate group here at the 5 prime carbon. Now this phosphate group joins with the 3 prime hydroxyl of another nucleotide. The second nucleotide is 3 prime hydroxyl and the first nucleotide is 5 prime phosphate. They join together a condensation reaction happens. We know all the biopolymers are formed by condensation reaction and dehydration synthesis. So a water molecule is removed. Clearly you can see here a phosphodiester linkage is formed. Why phosphodiester? Because one phosphate group joined to the 3 prime hydroxyl here and a 5 prime hydroxyl here. So two nucleotides are joined together by two ester bonds and that is the reason it is called phosphodiester bond. So let us look at, have a look at the points again. So a continuous covalently linked polynucleotide chain is formed and the bond is a 3 prime 5 prime phosphodiester bond. Now bond of one sugar, one phosphate molecule. So one phosphate molecule joined to two nucleotides with two ester bonds. Therefore, it is known as a phosphodiester bond. Now this phosphodiester bond leads to polarity in the polynucleotide chain. Polarity as in now the, nu now the polynucleotide chain has two ends. The two ends are 5 prime end and a 3 prime end. Now what is a 5 prime end? In the 5 prime carbon of the pentose sugar, it has a free phosphate group. Similarly, in the 3 prime end of the pentose sugar, there is a free hydroxyl group. And that is the reason the polarity is 5 prime and 3 prime. Alright, now as the new nucleotides add together, it goes up from the 5 prime phosphate and combines with the 3 prime hydroxyl of the chain already formed. Now, this is a nucleo nucleic acid chain. Very clearly you can see this is a 3 prime OH on end which has what? A free hydroxyl group. And this is a free 5 prime phosphate end. It has a free phosphate group. Now this sugar phosphate, sugar phosphate, sugar phosphate are alternatively arranged. 5 prime to 3 prime. And bases are different. Very clearly you can see the sugar phosphate is same but the bases are different. Now let us see what does this structure form. So this structure, a polynucleotide chain has a sugar and phosphate backbone. This is a sugar, a simplified structure which shows alternatively arranged sugar and phosphates joined together to form a sugar phosphate backbone. Now they lie on the outside. Because the phosphate is negatively charged, so they are hydrophilic in nature. Hydrophilic components lie on the outside. The bases which are hydrophobic in nature lie on the inside. Therefore, the nitrogenous bases stick outward whereas the backbone consists of an alternatively arranged sugar and phosphate. You can say that the ester bond is a covalent bond. So sugar phosphate, phosphate backbone is very strong in nature. Now both RNA and DNA. Both of them have the sugar phosphate backbone and the phosphate group, it always remains completely ionized. Let me show you the figure again. You can see the phosphate is negatively charged, completely ionized. So that is the reason this phosphate group, it remains completely ionized and that is the reason it is acidic in nature. So a polynucleotide is acidic, therefore it is known as nucleic acid. 
So to summarize we can say that the nucleotides they polymerize together to form a long polynucleotide chain. The bond between them is a 3 prime 5 prime phosphodiester bond as two esters bond, the bonds are formed and how are these esters formed? By a 3 prime OH of one nucleotide and a 5 prime phosphate present in another nucleotide. It has a sugar and a phosphate backbone which is on the outwards and the bases which stick out or they are present on the inside, right? And this polynucleotide chain has a polarity. It has two ends, a 3 prime end and a 5 prime end. So, a polynucleotide chain because the phosphates are ionized, it is acidic in nature and hence the new polynucleotides are called nucleic acids. So, we have seen how nucleotides have joined together to form a polynucleotide. Now, we are in a situation where we can define the structure of DNA. So, in next videos, we will talk about specific polynucleotide or a nucleic acid which is deoxyribonucleic acid. Till then, thank you very much. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.